It's here, it's finally here. Oh yes, oh gosh, I'm trying to get into this workshop now. I do need a bigger one, that is for sure. Clamber over the warrior. There we go. It's finally here. I've opened it up already, I know. That's kind of a bit of a giveaway about who it's from. Let's open it up. It's so hot in here. Super hot today. It's good. You know, I'm not complaining about that. Right, I'm gonna have to try and do this over this bike because I really can't be bothered to move it, to be honest. It's enough of a lump. Can I move it? No, do you know what? I'm just gonna leave it there. Yes, in fact, let's move it. There we are, that's out of the way now. Right, so today, I'm turn towards the light. Here we go, I've got a little bit of a light set up here. This is a lovely gift from Biltwell. It's not really a gift to me. It's a gift to help promote the Dime City Cycle CX500 build that we're doing. And thank you so much. I've got to give a shout out to Kenzie. Hello, Kenzie. She helped sort this out and I ended up talking to her at the bike shed, explained about what we were doing and the charity that we were doing, basically that we are raising money for Prostate Cancer Foundation and that we built that CX500 in 10 days. And the reason I decided to actually tell this story is because she was explaining the amazing Harley, the Baja Harley that they had on display at the bike shed. And it's, oh, that was an amazing build. And it was a functional build, really functional, and but it had its own quirky ways. It was stunning. And essentially what she was saying is because it was a Harley that was entered into a Baja race and it's kind of like the mutt of the group in a way. Nobody expects the Harley to actually do well in that but it did it finished the race as well because it's got an even smaller tank than a normal Baja tank so obviously it holds less fuel so to fill it up more frequently and everything like that if you can google the Harley build check it out I mean I might even ask if Kenzie has a link to the actual build itself and I might put that down below here so check down below and it kind of made me think well the CX500 is kind of like the mutt of flat track racing in a way nobody wants to use that CX500 it's a drive shaft bike and yeah, it was one of those things. It's not your obvious choice to make a flat tracker out of, but we did it anyway. And that's kind of where the connection was, right? So Kenzie and Biltwell have donated this helmet so we can actually style it up in the same color scheme as the CX500 and Dime City Cycles and use that as a promotion tool to then gain more money. So here it is. Right, I might need both hands for this. As usual with Biltwell. There we go, let's get this little box out. Throw this box away. Check that out. How beautiful is that? So the Biltwell Lane Splitter Helmet. I requested that we have one of these because it's cool, obviously. Biltwell are well known for their Gringo helmets, which is this one here. So this is my Gringo S, ECE rated, with a yellow bubble visor on it. And this here, in fact, let's get rid of the sticker. We don't need it. And this Lane Splitter Helmet here is a different shape, all ECE rated as well, so it is for the European market. And what I like about this is the fact that it looks like a riot helmet. It's super incredible. It's more of a kind of like an off-road bike, so obviously you've got the front here that comes out a lot longer than your normal Gringo. It also comes down as well, so whereas the Gringo stops at kind of a, a level height, this actually does swoop down, so your chin does fit underneath this. What I found with the Gringo, because I've got a fairly long head, my chin does reach the bottom there, which isn't a bad thing, that's the look that they're going for. And I do like that look as well. I like the way that it sits like an evil can evil helmet on you, and I really do like that. But from a like a, a motocross background, this looks more like a motocross helmet to me. Because we have built the flat tracker over at Down City Cycles, 
from that CX500 donor, this would be the perfect helmet that goes with it. Now I asked for black, only because, I mean it doesn't really matter what colour it came in, but I mean black was kind of like the obvious choice to, to use as a base colour really, because we are going to use a bit of black on it as well. So the idea is, is that we're going to paint this the same style as the CX500 over Dynasty Cycles. So it's going to be in that hell rot orange with that black, fully lacquered up, nice little lightning swoosh going across the side there, it's going to look absolutely awesome. But, more about this helmet, what you find in this helmet is that it's got a removable padding on the inside so you can easily clean it, it's super comfortable as well. And a good thing about this helmet as well is that you've got a little chin wind guard at the bottom here so you can protect your little fragile chin there and it's removable as well in case you want to remove it to clean or anything like that or replace you. The same with the Gringo, these little side bits on here, the little hinges can be customised, you can unscrew them off, put new ones on. This visor has got a little side lock. Really simple design but effective, it works. Pull it down, it locks in place, lift it up. And the stitching and the detail inside, same as with any built world helmet, is a really nice touch as well. For the price that you pay for these, seriously good helmet. It's got a little air channel at the back here so that any air that comes in actually escapes out the back. And I think it's just an all round cool helmet. Really nice in design. Let's put it on actually. My cap here today, I tend to wear a lot of caps recently. I won't do it properly, but... How cool is that helmet? Seriously cool, and it's going to be even cooler once we work our magic. Spray it. I'm going to do it here as well. Mo Colors over in Tampa really kindly offered to spray this as well, but I can't take up his time doing that. So thank you, Mo. P.S. If anyone wants their bike painted or anything, guitars, anything helmets, Give Mo a shout, he will send it out internationally or anything like that. Send it to him, he'll send it back. One of the best paint jobs I've ever seen. The clear coat on it is just fantastic. So I mean, my job isn't going to be anywhere near as good as that Mo, but it'll be fun to do it on the channel anyway. So this is what I'm thinking that I might do design-wise for the helmet. And that is all for this video, I just wanted to do a quick introduction for the lane splitter and as well to tell you what we'll be doing probably in the next two weeks on this helmet as well. So that will be another midweek video as well. And I'm pleased to tell you that I've actually started working on the Ducati this week as well, so that will be a new series once we wrap up this CB750 and everything like that. But I'm starting on it now so it will be some videos to come later on this month. Super exciting. So if you like what you see. This week's video will be the, I don't know why I'm pointing down to the CB750, you can't even see what I'm pointing at, and it's not even going to be the CB750 video. This week's video will be the CX500 uh, tracker video over at Diamond City Cycles, and we will be putting the tank, the CG125 looking tank, on the actual bike as well, fabricating that on and battling with that tank. So if you like what you see, and you want to step to the channel, then subscribe, hit that bell icon, Follow me on Instagram, visit Diamond City Cycles as well on the link below and donate $5 in order to win the CX500 tracker. They will ship it anywhere in the world, T's and C's, exclude a few places, but check them out before you donate if you want to win that bike. If not, then go ahead and donate anyway. And also, you can see there's a bit of merch down there. If you want to buy any merch, feel free to do so. So until next, tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video, which will be the CG15 tank on the 6500. See you tomorrow. Ride safe, stay safe and have fun building. Do it.